Hello, viewers, this is Vettel121, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IV, and in this episode, we're going to be taking on the CPU of the Giant of Babel, and it's not a very hard boss at all, in fact, it's pretty freaking easy, easier than the Four Fiends, and as you can see, the healing node there, uh, Heals the CPU for a good amount of good amount of hit points there, so you actually want to take out the defense node. And as far as the laser barrage that the attack node does, don't worry about it. It doesn't do that much damage as it is. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be making use of the self summon in this battle here because it will heal, and it will also deal pretty decent damage to the CPU. And yeah, we want to use summons because it will bypass the reflect status that the CPU has. And uh, if you kill the attack node, then he will use a ability that will instant death kill like two party members before regenerating the node. So yeah, it's just keep one node alive. Obviously the attack node is the smart choice because yeah, he really doesn't do that much damage as it is and you don't want the defense node to heal the CPU while you're attacking it because the battle would almost never end then. And this is one of those rinse and repeat battles but whatever. Yeah okay, just wanted to make sure I had the moon ring blade equipped there. Yeah, I would use Berserk, but uh, I'm pretty sure that a Berserk character wouldn't know just to attack the uh, CPU there, so... Whatever. And yeah, Rosa's pretty much useless for this fight, because Reddy is doing all the healing with her uh, her self summon, so... Yeah. Having Soul for this battle was very, very helpful. like the graphics for the laser barrage though, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not really sure how much HP this guy has, but... Oh, oh, okay. We got him already. Well, that works. And we got him. Ready to gain a level, and yes, the CPU is destroyed. All right, we stopped it. Why you? How dare you destroy the giant? You. Do I know you? You have to look deep inside yourself. You have to realize who you really are. Stop it. You must wake up. Yeah. Ooh. 
Okay. What came over me? Why was I filled with so much hatred? You have regained your true self then. Do you remember your father's name? My father, his name was Kluya. What? Then you must be Cecil's. You two are brothers? My brother. You were Zemus's puppet in his plan. He was using you with his hypnotic powers. You were chosen because you have the blood of Kluya, a Lunarian, coursing through you. That bond made it easier for you to be controlled. But to make you fight against your own flesh and blood? Yeah, that is kind of messed up. We get it, old man. I was fighting against my own brother? All this hate is against my own flesh and blood? Then you're... I wonder why you were chosen. It easily could have been me, as I also have Lunarian blood. I was chosen because of the seeds of evil that lay inside me. I don't know why my screen's flickering right now, but if you guys don't notice it, that's good. And he helped it grow. Okay, whatever. Where are you going? Find Zemus. I'll settle this. Wait! I too am a Lunarian, just like Zemus. I will join you. Alright, man. Goodbye, Cecil. Okay, is this what you want, Cecil? Cecil? Gobez may never come back. You know that, right? Aren't you going to do anything? He's your brother. My brother. Yes. Uh, what? You might be in trouble. We have to get out of here. Cecil! What are you doing? We need you to find a way out. Why does he have to do everything? Jeez. This way. Oh. Kane, huh? Oh no, we're not falling for that again. You can doubt me later. If you want to die in here, then just follow me for now. If you don't want to die in here, then just follow me for now. Okay, man. I guess. Hurry! Yeah, let's get out of here, man. Okay, they're gonna show a nice little cinematic of the giant exploding. Oh, his head fell off. Oh, he's not gonna explode, he's just gonna fall apart. Okay. Well, that was kind of disappointing. I wanted to see the giant explode. I was finally able to regain my true self. I don't expect you to forgive me after all I've done, but... Of course we're not going to forgive you. The giant was practically your doing. Oh. Rosa. It's not Kane's fault. You saw how Zemus had control over... Even over Gobez. Gobez too? Gobez is Cecil's older brother. A Lunarian named Zemus was controlling him using the Lunarian blood he carries. Gobez and Fasoya went to the moon to destroy Zemus. Gobez is Cecil's brother? Then I too should follow them to give Zemus what he deserves. I hope you don't end up betraying us again. If that happens, then you should cut me down without hesitate. Cut me down! Okay, whatever. You couldn't just say kill me? Like they did in the DS version? Yeah. Cut me down. <laughs> I'll go too. To the moon! I mean, considering they use kill, they use the word kill throughout this whole game that I've noticed up to this point. He couldn't, they couldn't just have Kane say something better than cut me down without hesitation? Eh. Rosa Rydia, you two stay here. The three of us will go. I can't put you in this kind of danger. But Cecil, that's not fair. Please, you have to get off the lunar whale.
Yeah, but who's going to heal us, man? I mean, are you honestly thinking straight right now, Cecil? I mean, seriously. You're not really that good at white magic. I mean, you can use it, but you're not good at it. Oh, okay. Well, bye, Rydia. I guess. Just stay put, okay? Cecil. Alright, man. Guess we gotta go to the moon without a healer or a summoner. Let's go. Rosa. Get out of the way, Rosa. No, you have to take me with you, otherwise I'm not moving. Why are you doing this? I want to be with you. I don't care what happens as long as I'm with you. Oh, okay. Guess we have no choice. Well, aren't you a ladies' man? <laughs> Alright, Rosa, I'll protect you with my life. Yep. It worked! Huh? What? You? I told you before that this was everyone's war. Besides, I'm the only one who can summon Idolans to help us. Rydia, you too? Fine, let's all go. After this, this is everyone's bat. After all, this is everyone's battle. Alright, man. Let's do it. And... Yes, this guy pops out of nowhere to tell us that we can actually change party members now at the Hall of Mysidia. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Alright, we are back at Mysidia and we're going to head to the Tower of Prayers or the whatever it's called. Hall of Prayers, yeah, whatever. Yeah, let's do this. And uh, yeah... Cecil, pre please return safely. The boss's boss sure is in a cranky mood when you're not around, Cecil. Please come back safe. Please come back and visit us again, okay? Fate of the land and every living being rests in your hands. Edward has been constantly praying for your safety. I never imagined this would happen. Anyways, we can come up here and let's talk to the Elder. So the myth was based in truth. And we can now talk to different party members to switch them in and out. So I'm actually going to do that. Uh, as you can see, Spoonie is weak. And I will not be putting him in my party right now. But I do want to switch out some other party members though. Yeah, Palum. And Porum. And that's good. And, well, what's going on? Elder, Elder! Please calm down and tell me what is going on. The mountain! The mountain of ordeals! What of mountain ordeals? The whole mountain is covered in a sinister cloud! A sinister cloud? Could it be? I see. Thank you for your report. Alright, whatever. Cecil, may I have a word? Near Mycidia, there's an old myth. People believe a new path will appear on Mount Ordeals for those who have fulfilled their fate. Perhaps something is changing now upon the mountain. Do you dare to go see what happened? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, okay, and that's it. Alright, I am outside the Mount, or Mount Ordeals or whatever, and these are going to be my immediate equipment setups for these characters obviously it'll change uh, as we go through the cave or whatever but yeah Genji equipment on Sid with the poison axe fairy rod on Palom with the black cowl because that's the best headgear I have for him with the luminous robe and the rune armlet and with Porum yeah I just gave her the same setup as Rosa and then for Cecil of course you can't remove him from your party and I just got gave him the, uh, the standard setup I've had on him for a while so there you go and yeah that's pretty much yeah that's pretty much it that's all for this episode of final fantasy 4 in the next episode we will do the cave of trials this is battle 121 see you next time